happy Thursday. This is a little bit different, but I did say that I was gonna do a YouTube and here we are. So to guess what we have, you can kind of see in the corner, I went and got a wing sock. This is an absolutely humongous bag. Couldn't decide what to get, so I kind of got everything that I really like from there. I mean, it should still be hot because, oh my God, they give you gloves. It actually might be good because look at my nails. If I got, let's get the gloves out. I can see the ranch is upside down. That is not great. I only got two and I feel like that's not gonna be enough because I only got ranch because Wingstop Ranch is the best, even though it's the only one I've ever had. So maybe I'm not qualified to make that opinion, but I feel like that is an opinion that is had. Right, here we go. We have got, I got cheese fries. I think they actually look really good and they're still hot. Look at that. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, I lost a ranch. So nearly broke, imagine if that had broke. Then I got eight bone left. I got four, oh my God, there's another ranch. I get three ranch. Don't know how, maybe you get one for each of the boneless maybe. So I got four boneless, no, eight boneless. I got four of the original. I got four garlic palm. Oh, this is so frustrating to try and show you. So there is the heart and then the garlic palm are in. I literally can't show you. I cannot tell you how much stress I had like trying to make this, because um, my tripod is for vertical. And then I realized, hang on, the YouTube has to be that way, doesn't it? So that was annoying. And then I got the Hickory Barbecue tenders. So I could probably show, oh, I can show you them they are just God's gift. Okay, I haven't eaten today and it is, it doesn't say the time on there. I reckon it's about four o'clock. That's not good, but I wanted to save myself for this. So let's eat. I'm so excited. What am I doing? I need to sort myself out. Right then. Oh, I just dropped. What's just dropped? I lost another ranch. I'm so hungry, but I'm sweating. I'm gonna have to have a drink first. I got this um, Oasis. It is the best Oasis. I say that though, because I'm allergic to the other one. So the other one could be better and I just would never know. Wow. So I did say I was gonna do YouTube, but I didn't know. I think I actually am gonna have to put the glove on. I feel like a bit of a loser to be fair. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure if I actually would, but I got a really good response on my other car bank, so I thought, you know what, why not? Oh God, my ring's got caught in it. <laughs> okay, do I look ridiculous? I feel like I absolutely do look, I'm gonna look ridiculous because it's gonna, I'm gonna get sauce everywhere when I try and take it off. I just wish I wasn't so hot. I'm gonna have some of these cheese fries because I've never had them before from Wingstop. I usually get the lemon pepper, but I thought, mix it up a bit and get the cheese fries this is what they look like i kind of prefer that kind of cheese you know like a um nacho cheese like a cinema cheese like i was saying well i don't know if you can do it let me know if you can i really want to get like a bag of doritos go into the cinema with a plastic pot and say can you fill this up for like five pound or however much they charge. Do you reckon they'd do that? I don't see why not, and I don't see why the workers would care to be fair. Hmm, those fries are good. Right, ranch. Oh, it's runny ranch. Ooh. We're going for a garlic palm because they are juicy and they are delicious. Hopefully I'll get lots of close-ups of the food. Mmm. Wow, love. Oh my gosh. I did a video last week and said, guess where I'm going. No one guessed where stop, but on the mukbang that I did in the car with the McDonald's, somebody said, you should do your first YouTube as a wing stop. And that's what gave me the idea but I can't find the comment. So whoever you are, you are the reason that I chose Wingstop. So good. Right, I'm going for an original hot. 
obviously gonna dip in the ranch. I've never actually got the original before, but I just panicked when I was at the thing. I was like, original. So there we go. Hmm, that's nice. I like that. I don't know if you want a close up for everyone. I probably won't do it for everyone, but for right now, because I'm so hungry. Hmm. I used to watch um, those of um, mukbangs. <laughs> to be fair, the person I used to watch the most was Nick Ocado Avocado. I'd watch him daily. Every day I'd wake up and look at a new video that he had done. A bit odd. That's what I did. And then obviously Steph Pappas. But the Wingstop ones were always really difficult for me to watch because it would make me crave it so much even though I'd never had it. And that's why I kind of was like, oh, do I do wing stop for this one? Because people are going to be watching it and the majority are not going to be able to actually get it. But that was me and I still watched them. So I thought I'm going to do it. Look at this garlic parmesan. That is just, I think that is God's gift, personally. The, um, mm, one sec. Is it, I can't believe it's still hot. I think it's a journey to get back to this car and it's still hot. I've now tried every single Wingstop flavour except for Atomic. It just didn't appeal to me because I had mango habanero and that was too hot for me. So I thought, well, Atomic's just not going to be it, is it? And barbecue sauce in general is one of my least favourite sauces. I think it's so boring. Like, why would you go to Wingstop, have all those flavours and choose barbecue? But, the last time I went, I had it because I was like, well, you've got to try them all, haven't you? Best barbecue sauce I've ever had, hands down. I don't stand barbecue, but I stand Wingstop barbecue. I love the word stand for stuff. I don't think people, well, maybe people do know this, but I don't think it's a well-known fact that that has come from Eminem. Like... Because I'm a massive Eminem fan. Eminem and Taylor Swift is all I listen to. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Stan. I was talking to my friend at uni about it. Basically, it means you love something or you're obsessed with it. Because obviously the Eminem song, Stan, is about that really obsessed fan. It's like if you stand something, like you love it so much and you're obsessed with it. And my friend at uni didn't know that's what it meant. But it is. And I think it's a great way to explain how you feel about something. Like, I'm a stand for 24, the series, as I've said. And I'm a stand for the Wingstop Barbecue. It's so good. Oh, yeah, because I was... Oh, I'm on a tangent now, sorry. I'm going to have one of the barbecue ones now, because I'm talking about it. But, yeah, I asked everyone what um, series I should start watching. I was really... Was that gross? I was really surprised by how many people said the show Hijack, because I've never even heard of it. Um... I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> I actually watched um, The Sixth Commandment, which if people haven't seen that, get on it because you are missing out. It's absolutely incredible. It's got Timothy Spall in it. You know, Peter Pettigrew, but this is how you would know him, is Peter Pettigrew from Harry Potter. Also, what's everybody's favorite Harry Potter film? I feel like I judge you based on your answer. For me, there is only one answer, but if you say another answer, then I'll forgive you. My favourite is Prisoner of Azkaban. Always has been. I used to watch it insane amounts when I was younger. And then I think an acceptable answer is The Goblet of Fire. But if anybody has Deathly Hallows Part 1 in their top five, judgment. Look at that. Holy smokes. Oh, that's so going to stain my nails. Mmm. Wow. Oh, this is such a good choice. Mm. That is phenomenal. Mm. 
I think I've decided I'm not gonna do a YouTube for every takeaway Thursday. I'm gonna and I'm not gonna post um well no, I don't know how to explain it. I will do takeaway Thursday every week, but they won't all be YouTube. Some of them will be just like short ones. And then I might post a YouTube a week as well with another mukbang. Because I would just enjoy eating anyway, so why would I not want to eat and chat, you know? That is the best combo ever. I need another drink though, because it's a wedding. So yeah, I think I'll give Hijack a go, since there was an outstanding number of people who said to watch it. Um, Homeland had quite a few. My parents have watched that and love it. And Yellowstone, I mentioned that in there. People said that was really good. What else was there? I don't know what else. People saying Prison Break, I've seen that, love it. Although I find a lot with Prison Break, people say, loved the first season, stopped watching after two. And in my head, I'm like, I think season four is on par with season one. Like the whole concept of season four Prison Break for me, a matched, absolutely love it. So if you are one of those people who have watched, just like haven't watched to season four, Prison Break, season five, six, eh, could do without season four. So good. Look at that. Mm. I'm a bit greedy. Thinking about doing like a Q&A for the first one. But I prefer just chatting to be fair. I mean, if you want a Q&A, you can have one. These are good. See? Proper like nacho cheese. But it's like cheesy. Oh, the sun's come out. Is that good lighting or no? I'm not moving. I'm way too set up now. Oh, they're slippy. <laughs> Slippery little suckers. That's a Pretty Woman reference if you didn't get that. That's one of my favourite films ever. Dirty Dancing is my favourite film ever. No. Yeah, and then Shawshank. Shawshank is just phenomenal. I don't think you can get better than that. So happy with my choices. I have another one of the original. The original is really nice. Look at that. Delicious. And I've nearly run out of the first ranch. See, it's like proper chicken. Love it. Oh, the size blue now. Ooh. Delicious. I do find it really ironic that this is kind of what I do now. <laughs> because I never ever imagined myself doing it, yet that was all I ever watched. Like, so I've watched like so many for so many years, like mukbangs and mukbangers and food channels and food videos, and just never imagined actually doing them. So I do find it a bit ironic that that is what I've ended up doing. But I've always been obsessed with food and I've always been obsessed with sports. Like, I say all sports. I won't say all sports, but I genuinely follow, understand, can carry easy conversations with football, cricket, tennis, Formula One, darts, boxing. Have I missed any? Oh, I said football, easy. Yeah, so now the Premier League's back. Um, I might do some more Premier League based videos. So I'm filming this on Tuesday because I've never edited a YouTube video before. But, so yesterday, it was Man United versus Wolves, because I'm a Man United fan, don't even ask. And I have never seen a performance that poor before, like, that was god awful, like, embarrassingly bad. Like, even the penalty shout at the end, I was like, that's a penalty. But I kind of was in denial at first, I was like, no, because if they give that, then they have to give all of the ones where there's contact on a play and the keeper doesn't get the ball. But then it's like, it's not just quite contact, like, he literally... I don't even know how to explain it, but he was gone. Look at the garlic parmesan. Let's dip. I'd say football and darts are my favourite sports. With cricket as a close third. But there is just something for me about watching England women. I don't even know what it is. 
I just get obsessed and it makes me watch when I watch the men's football like it just makes me uh, a bit less interested like when England women are on I just I just it's just a different kind of like I don't even know how to explain it I just love them and I have like obsessions with certain players like Leah Williamson obsessed new obsession Kira Walsh obsessed and Lessie Russo obsessed I just love it I just love watching them like I would rather watch an England women game than an England men's game by the time I post this <laughs> tomorrow's match semi-final will have already been please let us win oh my god I can't imagine posting this Thursday and not to be playing on Sunday like I, I can't fathom it but if you think about it we're playing Australia right N not only are they the home nation which gives them a great advantage they're also the home nation where our nation is the other side of the world like the furthest country away from us and they're the only team that's beaten us under Serena like if the odds and we're still the favorites like if the odds aren't stacked against us I don't know what is but yeah absolutely love sports love food so when I was at uni, I always wanted to do, um, before I started doing this, I always wanted to do marketing within sports, marketing within, oh, the person in the car next to me has got it there. Don't look at me. Oh, I've just opened the wrong branch. That's a big L. Okay, we'll have to finish this one off. Look at that. He definitely just saw me. I'm kind of used to it at this point, you have to film in public, like, I had to film at the uh, Pizza Hut event, and that was like the easiest I've ever filmed because everybody was filming, so it's a lot easier. It's really thick sauce that is, but it's so good. Oh god, I have to tell you, the funniest thing happened in my car last week. So it's my mum's birthday and I was driving us to Bridge North. <laughs> I am severely scared of spiders. Like severely scared of spiders <laughs> and i was driving my mom was there and she pulled down the you know with the mirror and when she pulled it down there was a massive spider and i looked across and saw it and i was like and i heard her go oh because she's not particularly scared of spiders but like if you have one right in front of your face like it's not great is it and instead of rolling the window down and flicking it out what does she do panics flicks it onto me so if anybody is driven to bridge north this is very niche it's it's country roads like it's just country like there's no pull-ins and she's flicked this spider that's probably about i would say about that big but like that kind of spider and gray and oh god and she flicked it onto me and i was like oh my god you have not just done that you have not just done that and i had to, i basically i literally wheel span wheel span it into this like person's drive and then I had to, oh God, I had to get out. I was panicking so much and crying and they never found the spider. So I'm sitting in this car now filming this video. And every time I drive my car, I'm like looking around because I'm like, this spider could still be in here. Cause my, my dad and Rob, my boyfriend were like scrambling to find the spider while I was like, you know, pooing my pants and they couldn't find the spider. So it could easily still be in here. It was horrendous. But it's funny now, slightly. Um, but yeah, you gotta laugh. Bless her, she was mortified. <laughs> Cheese fries. I feel like I might end the video here. I don't wanna bore anyone anymore because this is a long video. This is as long as I've ever done before. And happy Thursday praying that i'm saying come on lionesses on sunday but that's really gonna jinx it isn't it so touch wood we see the lionesses on sunday <sighs> right then that's it if it's boring you can tell me it's boring i don't mind but if you like them let me know you like them by liking it and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah
Oh my god, this person, what's she doing? That was so weird. This woman just came and like crouched down next to my car. Wait, is she breaking into cars? I'm not even joking. Okay. On that note, I'm gonna go because that was weird. See you later. Bye.